Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Thermo Fluid Lab. Today I'm going to explain to you the boundary layer measurement experiment. So in this lab, we are going to use our air bench equipment to uh, do the boundary layer measurement experiment. So this is our air bench. So this is the uh, tank of the air bench. This is the inlet part of the air bench. And then this is the test section of the air bench. This right here is the manometer. This can be used to measure the pressure. So this is the flat plate. This sharp end is the leading edge. And then this other side is the uh, ending edge. So in this plate, we have a four notch in the plate. The reason is because we want to uh, measure the boundary layer thickness at the four different location. For example, if you want to measure the boundary layer thickness at the location one, so you need to uh, slide up this plate into the test chamber. And then when you reach the first notch to the location of the screw, you have to tie the screw a little bit and then you can measure the boundary layer thickness at the location. Uh, if you want to measure the location two and uh, location two, three, and four, you have to repeat the same procedure, and you have to slide this plate up into the test chamber. In this experiment, if you want to measure the pressure of the tank, so this tube is connected to the tank of the air bench, and then you connect this to to the manometer, and then you can read that to water height and then you can measure the pressure of the tank and then you can repeat the same procedure for the inlet pressure and then the, the pressure of the Peter tube. This tube is connected to the Peter tube right here. So this Peter tube is connected to the micrometer right here so because we want to uh, we can adjust the micrometer to move the Peter tube away from the surface of the plate. For your uh, experiment, for each measurement, you have to uh, increase the micrometer every zero point uh, micrometer zero point two five millimeter away from the surface of the plate for your every measurement. Here, I'm going to give you some background information about the boundary layer thickness theory. So assume you have a flat, flat plate right here and the air is flowing from the top to the bottom. Because of the plate, we know that uh, boundary layer thickness can be found. So remember that this boundary layer thickness uh, may not be same, okay? It is just an idealized situation, okay? So suppose we want to find the boundary layer thickness at this location let me say SI, okay? So if you want to find the boundary layer thickness at that location, you are supposed to find the velocity profile in uh, a normal direction to the plate. So how do we know our boundary layer thickness? So boundary layer theory said that, that it is the 99% uh, of the upstream velocity. So when you measure the velocity in this direction, like different different location, and you will find a location which is equal to which velocity equal to ninety nine percent of your VP free stream velocity. Okay, at that location, you can say that this is your thickness of the boundary layer. So for this experiment, there is a few things uh, I would like you to uh, pay attention. So. Uh, first thing is you need to uh, know the location of the uh, location uh, that you want to find the boundary layer thickness. So that location is the uh, distance away from the leading edge to the location of the boundary layer thickness you want to measure. So another one you will need to know the uh, V in free stream velocity that is the velocity coming to the plate. So based on these two, you can determine the uh, Reynolds number. Okay, another thing, you need to find the velocity profile. And then VP. VP, how do we know the VP? VP is the velocity outside of the boundary layer thickness. 
So at that time, the velocity becomes uniform. Okay, so inside the velocity, inside the boundary layer, there is some velocity profile, but outside the velocity becomes uniform, which is VP. Okay, so I would like you to pay attention that this VP free stream velocity is not equal to the free stream velocity of the VN. Here I'm going to give you a uh, what is the direct measurement variable for our experiment and some of the basic equation that we need to use for the 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 post process pro processing in our uh, experiment. So first we need to measure that uh, we need to uh, calculate the velocity of the inlet. So the velocity of the inlet can be written as pressure of the tank. minus pressure of the in this is divided by 2 pi rho a this equation is derived from the uh, Bernoulli equation okay so how can we measure the peak 10 and peak in so for the peak 10 uh, using your manometer and then you can read the height of the 10 and the height of the a so based on these two I can see that Okay, P ten equal to P ATM plus rho water G H ten minus H A. Okay, for the pressure in lab, we can apply the same equation. Okay. So to find the PN, you also need to record the height of the A and the height of the I mean height of the N and the height of the A using the manometer. Okay. So for the PN, it can be written like PN equal to P ATM plus rho water G. Okay. H N minus H A. Again, these H, this H A and this H A, they are not the same value. Okay, they are different value from the different measurement. Okay, so for the velocity profile, how can we measure that? Okay, it is simple equation. So V, it is uh, velocity H I comma Y equal to Okay, square root of 2 P P the 2 minus P ATM divided by rho A. Okay, that is the velocity profile measurement equation. So, for the P P the 2, uh, you can do the same measurement as you measure the P tank and P A. Okay, so it's going to be P, P I T O T equal to P A T M plus rho water G H P I T O T minus H A. So that is the equation for the P P the tube. Okay, so for the P P the tube, uh, you will have different different P P the tube because uh, you have to increase your that y okay increment is 0 0.25 millimeter each time okay we are starting from y equal to zero and then you start record your h p and then h a and then you increase your p to two uh 0.25 millimeter and then you record the another p uh height of the pedal and the height of the a and then you repeat the same thing again and then like you increase the another 0.25 millimeter to record that uh, water height so you have to record these two water height until you see that these two water height are not changing for three times okay so this way we can confirm that at that point you already uh, reach to the above of the, the boundary layer so this way we can see we can see that velocity is uniform 
pressure distribution uniform and then this point we can stop our experiment and that's all I conclude for the boundary layer measurement uh, experiment lecture. Thank you.